What's up, hungry people? Welcome to the Starving Chef's Kitchen. Today, we are going to be making ciabatta breakfast bread bowls. With a variety of toppings to choose from, you can let your guests mix and match their favorite combinations or make a mismatch of flavors so that each one is a surprise. However you create these bread bowls, they are the perfect breakfast or brunch option for any crowd. Start with a small, single serving ciabatta or French bread loaf. Cut out the center of each loaf of bread. You can save and toast the centers for dipping in the runny eggs at the end of this recipe. Toast the bread for about 5 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 175 Celsius, until the center feels dried but has not yet started to brown. Now it's time to stuff our bread bowls. Start with diced breakfast ham and fill the center of the bread bowl with about 1 to 2 tablespoons. It helps to press it down in an even layer or into the sides so that there is enough room to really pack the loaf full of fillings. Then add minced red onions and sauteed spinach. Line the sides of the bread bowl with the spinach and then use a spoon to gently press everything down so that it forms a little nest in the center and so that an egg can fit perfectly on top of everything. Crack a fresh egg in the center of the bread bowl, then top the egg generously with Gruyere cheese. Set the bread bowl aside and prepare for the next combination. For this bread bowl, we are going to use crumbled bacon. Once again, fill the bottom of the bread bowl with about 1 to 2 tablespoons of the crumbled bacon. For a blast of heat, use jalapenos and line the edges of the bread bowl with the jalapenos so that they peek out of the top of the bowl. Crack the egg in the center and then top it all off with a nice helping of sharp cheddar cheese. Next up are sausage patties. I use sweet maple pork sausage patties for my filling, but you can use your favorite kind of breakfast sausage for this part. Top the sausage with sweet bell peppers. I used a blend of red and yellow bell peppers and then used diced red onion. Press it all down into an even layer with the back of a spoon. Then crack the egg into the center and top with a spicy pepper jack cheese and then set aside onto the baking sheet. Last up, we'll be using crumbled turkey sausage with the spinach sauteed in bacon grease and fresh Roma tomatoes. You can also use salsa if you don't have tomatoes. Then add in some more diced red onions and crack the egg in the middle. Sometimes you need to give them a nice jiggle just to settle the whites. Top the bread bowl with shredded Parmesan cheese and then add it to the pan with the other bread bowls. Arrange the bread bowls in a baking dish and season with some salt and fresh cracked pepper. Bake at 350 Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes until the yolks have reached your preferred doneness. Personally, I love a really runny yolk for dipping toast, so I cooked mine for about 15 minutes. The eggs should wobble a bit in the center, but have firm whites around the edges. Finally, just garnish with fresh parsley and serve right away. In the past, I've used individual French bread loaves and handheld French rolls that have also worked just as well as the ciabatta. This breakfast is perfect for a crowd because each one can be customized to each individual's preferences. Breakfast bread bowls are certainly one of my favorite ways to enjoy my first meal of the day. If you like this recipe, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell for a new recipe notification every week. What kind of bread bowl combination would you make? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to learn more, you can find the full recipe with step-by-step -step instructions on the starvingchefblog.com. I hope you all enjoy, and I'll talk to you soon.